at his age, no one can compete with him. <laughs> no one. So the numbers speak for himself. And, and inside in the locker room, on the pitch, we see things that they are not in the stats that make us feel happy to have him here. Yeah, a lot. So young play as well, and uh, as a reality, uh, uh, due uh, his performance during these years, and of course, is a, we want him he stay yes or yes. Um, you mentioned Harlan's one of the best for his age right now. Where's Phil in that list for his position and his age? No, he's an exceptional player. So he grew up a lot. Is already many many years with us and. He's reliable in terms of a physical condition. You know, he's so intense and everything, so clever and, and reliable and every three days he's able to play. And uh, guys, and both they know he can do better and, and hopefully they can do it. In what way are you building the good uh, team culture? No, no, it depends on them. What normally happens is a good, nice person and He has a lot of gestures uh, on and off the pitch with the with the young players, with the staff, with the backroom staff on the pitch. When the situation is going well, how he his gesture is encouraged the guy. So there are many things that is not just a striker a score goals, and I think come from his education as well. Pep, you've mentioned um, Riyad Mahrez a couple couple of times in the last the last few weeks. Um, do you say that you're waiting for him? To come back to his best, what do you what do you need to see from him? He knows it. I know perfectly yet how important we need him. We need him. He has to come back at his best. So when he's his best, Riyad, in terms of personality, ability, quality, uh, his love for this game, how he enjoyed to playing, and and uh, yeah, step by step, he's going to come back. What what do you think is is missing at the moment? Who he is. Of course, now he's not playing much, but uh, what he is, is he has to come back in his better physical condition and after the rest will come alone because he's another player, I cannot teach him anything. He's too good, <laughs> too good. So the most difficult thing in football is do the easy things. And the easy things is that we are not doing some departments not, not really well. So we are alone, the simple passes and we lost it. And this is our principles, the most biggest and more important principles that we have is we have the ball, we have to pass the ball to the guys who wear the blue t-shirt. We cannot give it to the red t-shirt. And uh, I'm not saying uh, in the final third in a situation you have to dribble one or two, lose the ball. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking that you are simply just pass the ball. And lately we are not doing good. And Again, in important stages and important games, always will be a trouble, a problem. And it's easy to do, easy to to solve it because they are good enough to do the simple things.